short bead stare video number two, the three period lesson. Once your child has become comfortable building the short bead stare into its triangular form, then you can move on to giving three period lessons with the bead bars from the short bead stare. A three period lesson is something used prolifically in a Montessori classroom to introduce the names of objects and the qualities of these objects. The three period lesson is divided into three steps so that the language that you are teaching will be more easily absorbed. So today I'm going to, or in this video, I'm going to demonstrate a three period lesson with the first three bead bars of the short bead stair with the help of the lovely and talented Rowan. So you will indeed see some small hands and fingers in this presentation. Okay, you ready Ro? Mm -hmm. Okay. One. This is one. One, two. This is two. One, two, three. This is three. Okay, Rowan, get your pointing finger out. Okay. Get to sit up. Please point to one. Please point to three. Point to two. Please pass me three. Please pass me one. Pick up two and give it a shake. <laughs> Oops, getting dizzy. Pick up three and put it on your nose. All right, thank you. Pick up one and put it on your knee. Mm -hmm. T go show daddy three. Okay. You don't actually have to do it real, but you could think of creative ways. You could send her off to go show someone else one of her objects from her three period lesson. Okay. So once you've done some of that, you say, Rowan, what is this? What is this? Three. And what is this? One. There you go. So that is how you do a three period lesson. So step one was the naming period where the person giving the presentation names the subjects of the three period lesson. This is one, this is two, this is three. Step two of the three period lesson is the recognition and association period. So once the child has clearly heard the names of each of the objects, then the person giving the lesson can now challenge the child to recognize the objects by their names. So that's when I was asking her to point to one, point to three, point to two, or do fun stuff like put two on your head, go show three to daddy. So that is step two of the three period lesson, recognition and association. Step three was the recall period. So once the child has successfully placed the names of the objects into her long-term memory, then you can challenge the child to name the objects themselves. So the third step was the recall period where I asked Rowan, what is this? What is this? And what is this? And she was able to successfully name each of the bead bars from the short bead stare. So it won't always go this seamlessly, right? You have to do many three period lessons sometimes with the same materials to really solidify the language with the child. But hopefully this gives you a overview of how a three period lesson works and gets you off to a good start where you can do three period lessons with the individual bead bars from the short bead stair. So once my child has mastered and is able to name one, two, and three, then I would give a lesson with four, five, and six, and so on and so forth. If your child is finding it tricky to get to the naming part, step three of a third period lesson with three objects, then you could 
pare it down to two. So you could give a three period lesson with just the bead bar with one and just two. So go with the flow, follow the child, three period lessons, and we will see you for video number three of the short bead stare.